I deleted the comments that you saw in the previous video so we can totally focus on the metadata object that comes with the project setup. This object was placed here automatically. Notice that we are inside layout.js file. And if I don't change it, if I don't change these strings, all of the pages, static or dynamic, in this app will have this title and this description. When we add any valid metadata inside our app, under the hood, we are creating meta tags, HTML meta tags. And these meta tags can be checked inside the source code. These meta tags are small pieces of information that are added inside the head that lives inside the HTML tag of our application. Don't you believe me? Let's just check the source code, but before, let me just add the word test and also here, so we can really see it in the source code. So let's check it. In fact, the title is super easy to check. We don't really have to go and check the source code for that, but we can. So this is the title, but notice that I am inside my own page, my root page, and this is the title. But if I open this dynamic page, I still see the same title. Or this dynamic page, I still see the same title. Okay, so the title is here, so humans can read on which page they are on. Okay, so and now we can open this page and check the source code, use the line wrap, and let's look for this title. So it's easier, what you can do is copy paste and then perform a control find. And as you can see, there's the title right here. Okay? And we can do the same for the description, of course. You can click here. Control F and not there, here. There's my description, meta name description. And the content is this. And as I said to you, we are inside the head, this tag, which lives inside the HTML tag. So this is what I just explained to you. So you can do all of this checking on your own. Buckle up, boys and girls. This was your first SEO search engine optimization lesson. Maybe, maybe not. Whatever. Let's continue. So as I was explaining to you, so these small pieces of information are used to tell search engines and those viewing your website more details about each specific page. Of course now all of the pages have the same title and description and this is not what we are trying to do. But you now know that page titles are created with the help of the title tags. The page name that is here visible to humans and not only you can check that in the source code to any page in any website. And this is important because web crawlers will also be able to read this information by checking the content of the title tag inside each page. This is why Next.js uh, creates this object automatically inside the layout so you know that title and description are very good meta tags to have and this will help you in your SEO efforts. Regarding the HTML tags, there are tons of them and tons that can be used, but you need to be wise and select only the few that you really need 
for your own project, for your own needs. Okay? Do not use all the tags because they are there available to you. Okay? So, to help you with this topic, I'm just going to be linking two important links inside this video's description so you can read more on your own and come back to this video or to the next one in case you want to keep learning. Enough of theory for now, let's see how we can update the code inside our app so each page gets a custom title and description. For now, we will deal only with the static pages, but later in this playlist, we'll deal with the dynamic pages, and we'll give these dynamic pages a dynamic title and a dynamic description. So, as a reminder, we are inside the layout, and this object defines that if you do not add any other metadata objects inside your pages, you will always see this title and this description that you have here. So this is what we want to change. So we need to go to our home page, which is this one right here. I'm going to paste that object and the title is going to be home page and the description is going to be home page description. Okay, and now if I refresh my home page, well, that was actually not necessary, of course, I see the title here. And if you check the source code, like we did earlier in this video, you will check this title and this description. So we can actually do this for the two custom pages that we have. And those custom pages are contact, so we can go here very quickly instead of home page i'm gonna just type contact and paste contact i'm gonna copy the entire object one more time and i'm gonna go to my dashboard actually i can use a, a, um, a shortcut here and look for the pages that i need so i could actually just oops fetch my mistake sorry and now I can type dashboard there we go it's a bit easier and I can do I can select this and the other one below and do dashboard yeah just showing you some shortcuts and now if we visit our pages so the home page is all good if we go to contact, we see contact page. And if we go to dashboard, we see dashboard page. In our project, we are simulating some sort of shop website, right? What if we want to give each page not only just the page title, like we are doing here, but also to add more information to that title, but in all of the pages. Something like um, home, my shop, contact, my shop, dashboard, my shop, whatever you want to write. So the point is, we want to add extra information to the page title, right? But we do not want to do this manually. We do not want to write my shop inside all of each page. This is the scenario where we must use the default plus template properties together. Let's see this in action. Okay, the first thing we are going to make these titles a bit shorter. Okay. by removing the word page and let's do this inside contact as well cool and now we need to navigate to the layout 
and this layout instead of using this title string we are going to replace this with an object okay so that goes away and it's an object we need a comma right there so firstly in this case we need to pass in the default title for this page which is going to be home and next we are going to use the template property and this is going to allow us to add the extra bit of information just here in this file so we do not have to go inside all of the other pages imagine that you have 20 custom pages you do not need to go inside of each page manually and add that inside the string you use this method it's way better so the extra text in this case is going to be my shop can be whatever you want of course and to make this work you need to add percentage uh, symbol and the s let me see if the npm run dev i think it's not running it's not so let me just now check and now we should see that so now we'll see um, the page title plus the extra information if you pay attention to the browser's bar you now can see the page title that we redefined it and also the extra information that we added and this is visible inside contact inside dashboard and of course if you had more pages you will see in those pages as well so this is how you use the template property if you're really really paying attention you by now notice it that inside the custom page dashboard we see dashboard dash by shop and if we navigate to contact we see the same as expected but if we go back to our to our root page to our home page we only see the title how is this possible this is a bit confusing i'm not 100 percent sure but i think this somehow relates to this page getting included in the installation and dashboard and contact being custom pages the way that i found out to make this work the way that I want is just by going inside the home page and instead of I am inside the home page okay instead of using the title uh, string I'm gonna go and use the object one more time again and this time I'm going to define the absolute uh, title absolute and it's going to be home my shop and this should make this work so let's check this again so if I now open see home my shop then I go to uh, contact contact my shop and of course lastly dashboard it was okay I'm not really sure if this is the best way to use these properties or not but as you can see it works so I might be right I might be wrong if I am wrong please correct me in the comments section below let's continue in the meantime